morning, everyone. Um, I'm sure that most of you know the story of Frozen. We are big fans in this house. It's on a lot. In the second film, Queen Elsa, who has magic icy powers, is trying hard to live like a normal queen, ruling Arendelle. But she also is trying to live with and use her magical powers. She is trying to live two different ways in one. I won't spoil the story, but at the end we see that Elsa realises she cannot live as a normal queen and as a magical ice spirit. She cannot do both, so she has to choose one. This passage that we're looking at today tells us how we think and what we do flows from what our hearts are like. Our hearts are either filled with selfish ambition or with love for God and others more than ourselves. Selfish ambition means thinking of yourself, putting yourself first, me, me, me. Maybe at home this week, your brother or sister has wanted to play with you or share what you've been playing with, and you've said, no, that's my toy, or no, I'm playing by myself, and I don't want to play with you. That is an example of thinking of me, 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 because we haven't thought about our brother or sister before me. Or maybe there was one last chocolate in the box and you quickly snatched it away before anyone else in your family could have it. Me, me, me. This is what James calls having worldly wisdom. Or we are humble and we think of God, God this side, <laughs> and others before ourselves. Um, loving God and our neighbour like we learned the other week. For example, if we share our toys with our brother or sister, even though they don't share with us, or we offer that last chocolate, um, or we offer that last chocolate to someone else, even though you would really like it. This is what godly wisdom looks like. So I hope you've got a piece of paper and a pencil, if you haven't grabbed them now. And grown-ups, could you draw a line down the middle of your page? And on one side, I want you just to draw a heart with me, me, me in it at the top. So the heart with me, me, me in it. And on the other side, a heart with a crown in it. So a heart, you don't need to worry about other people, but a crown with a heart. So God and others and me, me, me heart, one on each side. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to read some parts of the passage out for us. And what you have to do, so I'd say parents need to write this, otherwise you won't be able to keep up. <laughs> Children, I want you to listen really carefully to each thing and shout out to your grown up whether it is a me, me, me thing or a God and others thing. Okay, so whether you're loving yourself and putting yourself first or loving God and putting God and others first. Okay. So I'll go through them and I'll give you a little pause to write them on the right side. Okay. Um, oh, not yet, Johnny. <laughs> With the screen. Um, so, peaceful. Not loyal to God. Being jealous of other people. Being honest. Fighting and arguing. Doing good for others. It's fair. Says bad things about other Christians. Is always ready to help those who are troubled. Always ready to help. Is proud. Judges others. Is humble.
doesn't receive things from God because they ask for selfish reasons. That's a long one to write down, so you can <laughs> shorten it. <laughs> so it doesn't receive things from God as they ask for selfish reasons. It's easy to please. Is gentle. Okay, so I hope you've popped them on one side of the page or the other, either me, 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 or with um, thinking of God and others. Okay, so on your screen now, you should see the two paths. Okay, so you can choose two paths. So we can either follow the me, me, me path or the loving God, thinking of God and others path. So I'm going to read that list again and they're going to pop up um, on the right path. So either on the path following me, 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 or the path I'm loving God and others. So see if you got them right, okay? So peaceful, not loyal to God, being jealous of other people, being honest, fighting and arguing, does good for others, is fair, says bad things about other Christians, is always ready to help those who are troubled, is proud, judges others, is humble, does not receive things from God because they ask for selfish reasons, is easy to please, is gentle. Okay, I hope you got those just about right. So if we follow the path of the me, me, me thinking, then it leads to making yourself an enemy of God. So Johnny, if you click through, I think it should show up on the screen still oh no okay it leads to um being <laughs> being an enemy of god but if we follow the path of thinking of god and others before me if we follow this path then god will come near to you so if we follow the path of me 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 we make ourselves god's enemies but if we follow the path of loving others and thinking of others and god before ourselves God will come near to you. Verse six sums this up. But God gives us even more grace. As the scripture says, God is against the proud, but he gives grace to the humble. James says that we cannot follow God and the world at the same time. We cannot follow the path of godly wisdom, thinking of God and others, and the path of worldly wisdom, thinking of me, 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 at the same time. Like Elsa, who couldn't follow both ways, she couldn't be a queen and a magical spirit, we cannot follow both ways. Can you see that? For example, being honest comes from thinking of God and others before myself. It might hurt us less or keep us out of trouble if we lie, but telling the truth, being honest, is what we do if we're thinking of God and others rather than myself. And it leads to God coming near to us and giving us more grace. God himself will come near to you and give you more grace. Wow, how amazing is that? The God who created everything and who is all powerful will come near to you. I know which path I would like my thinking and actions to look like, but it is hard to do it on our own, isn't it? Remember what we have learned over the last few weeks. We are chosen by God so that we might praise him. He has chosen us and will help us to live to praise him. James 1 verse 18 says, God decided to give us life through the word of truth. He wanted us to be the most important things of all he has made, so he will help us. So here are the two ways of thinking. Thinking of me, 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 or God and others. We can't do both. If we chose to have new thinking, God will draw near to us. Okay, so we've got actions for this week again. So we've got new life means new thinking. New life means new thinking. Thinking of God and others before me.